Good morning everyone, uh, I'm Steve Peterson from Flyfish Europe, uh, always very excited to be back here in Reading. Uh, today we're going to do something that we've never done before, it's a little bit new. We're going to have some fun, uh, we're going to actually do a Sims Weirder fashion show this morning. Uh, I thought rather than just have weirders on, on mannequins, we'd actually get some of the team here at Sportfish Reading to model the weirders for us. Um, what I really want to get uh, across is you walk into a lovely shop like Sportfish Reading, there's seven or eight pairs of weirders hanging up. They all look terrific, but which is the right one for you? So we're going to go through each weirder uh, and talk about the features and benefits and just to see what type of angler that that weirder will suit. Uh, so we're going to start off at our entry level weirder, uh, which is the Sims Tributary. And Ashton here is modelling Morning, the Tributary Steve. outfit today. Thank you, Ashton. No problem. Now, Tributary is Sims entry level brand. Tributary, as the name suggests. So we're starting off, Ashton's wearing the Waypoints jacket. Nice packable uh, jacket there. So Ashton, if you wouldn't mind just removing the jacket. Of course. It's a nice, lightweight, packable, fully waterproof jacket. Goes well with this outfit. And you'll see uh, in a bit more detail here the tributary weirder. Starting at the bottom, and we'll work our way up through the features. First thing we're going to talk about, not just the weirders, but obviously also the boots. This is the tributary boot. First of all, these come in either a rubber sole or a felt sole, so you have the choice. These are the rubber soles. I don't know if we can see that there. Yeah, and they come in a felt version. Very nice, comfy, lightweight boot. Really good grip, good ankle support. Really nice. Do they feel quite comfy on yeah, you, Ashton? That's, very comfortable. That's what it's all yep. about. Obviously, we have built-in gravel guards here with the tributary weirder. Um, patented Sims front leg seams here. Rather than seams on the inside that can wear, the seams are on the front. The legs, as Ashton is very nicely demonstrating there, the legs are actually articulated. It's all about the comfort, and that's what you get with these. Uh, moving up through the weirder, obviously, they come with a, with a belt with belt loops. Uh, we've got a nice pocket. Yeah, there's the belt loops at the back. Nice hand warmer pocket here. This is micro fleece lined for on a cold day. You get a nice bit of warmth in there. The zippered front pocket for your big fly boxes or whatever you need. And on the inside, we have a zip there if you wanted to attach one of the Sims accessory weirder pouches, the tippet tender pouch, or there's even a waterproof pouch that you can zip in there as an optional extra. Sim straps, the Sim straps are actually designed if you wanted on a very hot day to perhaps roll the top of the weirders down and effectively create a waist weirder. If you just undo your straps there, Ashton, and come down, they're actually sort of the opposite way around, so male and female, so you can attach them round the fronts it just neatens everything up, makes it all nice and neat and tidy. Nice. Now the tributary weirder and boot, we've had it around now for a couple of years. They've been really successful. We've sold lots and lots of pairs. The, the, the tributary is great for beginning beginners, maybe anglers just on a bit of a budget, or perhaps uh, sometimes people want a secondary pair to leave in their fishing lodge. So it's a great entry level wader, very much in my opinion the best wader at its price point. Uh, and very importantly just to mention, if you're buying the wader and the boots together, there's a very significant saving on the combo deal. I think that's page 112 in your Sportfish catalogue, which lists all the pricing, a real good significant saving. So thanks Ashton, that is oh, the pleasure. tributary wader and boots, and you also had the Waypoints jacket on. Thanks Ashton. No worries at all. Next we have, well, doesn't need any introduction, Charles, Charles Jardine here and Charles will be modeling a freestone collection for us. The freestones have been around for many years, tried and tested, superb weirder, thank you Charles. So we'll start with the jacket first of all, Charles has got the very popular freestone jacket, uh, very nice, lovely big pockets, nice and comfortable, it's quite a soft material, it's not very rustly. Steady. So I hope you don't mind me touching. <laughs> soft material, lovely hood, three-way adjustable with all, as with all the Sims jackets you adjust your hood usually with a baseball cap on and it stays where you want it to be. Um, great pockets, quality zips, uh, really nice jacket. Nice yeah, feels like comfy? That. Yeah. Excellent. If you wouldn't mind taking it off so we can look at the waders mm -hmm. in a little bit more detail. 
pass it to me and I'll sort that out. Thank you, Charles. Oh, well, you can do that next time. Oh, okay. I like the sound of that. So, yeah, here's our Freestone Wheeler and Boots. Uh, it's I'll just cover up that, actually. That's, thank you for that. That's great. No problem at all. Um, so the Freestone, one of our most popular uh, popular wearers, as well as the boot. It's the wearer that does what it says on the tin. It's the boot that does what it says on the tin. We sell many thousands of these. Really, really good wearer. In fact, in my opinion, this is the best non-Gore-Tex wearer on the market. Um, we'll start down with the boots again. This is the latest incarnation of the Freestone boots. They're available in felt or rubber. This is the felt version that Charles has on today. Uh, they're a very comfortable boot. They're a very felt, durable this boot. This feels wrong, actually, doing that. Yes, it's an unusual <laughs> way to do it, that, it Charles. Is, but but it, it, it works for the purposes that we're doing, just yeah, no. to, show, to show the felt. But a really comfortable, Steve. Uh, that's what this is all about. Uh, they're a luxury product. It's all about the comfort. Well, I, I'll be honest. I've stood away from Sims boots because they've been heavy. Right. Yep. And these aren't. Actually. These would be one of the more heavier boots that we do yeah, in the Yeah, they're fine. Uh, and it's always a bit of a compromise. You can get a super lightweight boot, but they won't be that durable. And yep. you get a, you know, a boot that's really durable, but not not. not but it's nice lightweight. and stoic. I've got very weak ankles, and they go. Right. And that's a lovely lot of stability. And I think when you're wading, people forget that you've got pressure of water. Absolutely. You're over on rocks and all the rest of it. And to have yep. that bit of stability where you can actually sway and move and lift yep. is really important. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like I say, they're a very durable boot. Uh, typically, people get a many years wear out, out, out of these, as long as you look after them. And one of the key things there is dry them out in between fishing trips. Uh, so that's our freestone boot. As we move up the weirdo, you see very nice built-in neoprene gravel guards. Nice little Sims fish there. As we move up through the reinforced area, this is the area of the weirdo that perhaps is most likely yeah, to get the little good. pinholes, the little the any abrasion. Uh, this area here so again we have the articulated legs the same features the front leg seams on the wader and moving up it comes into a bit of a more breathable area here coming up through the wader belt loops they come with a belt very very go. important charles is showing the uh the rear view there excellent and tighten it up yeah yeah get comfy with it uh, up into the pockets, we have our nice hand warmer pockets, okay. micro fleece lined. If you put your hands in there in a cold day, it just feels lovely and warm. We have a water resistant zip here for the large pocket up the front, fly boxes, etc., whatever you want to put in there. Little Velcro fly patch, you can put accessories on there. And again, on the inside, we've got a zip there that you can attach to uh, some of the Sims wading pouch accessories, the tippet tender pocket or the waterproof uh, pocket. Uh, same again with the male and female buckles if you wanted to make this a waist wader. Um, yeah, Please. and there it is. Uh, it's a great looking wader. I love the color. Um, really nice wader, very, very popular. And again, very importantly, um, if you are looking at buying the waders and the boots together, there's a significant saving on the combo deal. Again, that's, I think, page 113 in your Sportfish catalogue where you'll see all the You've details there for that. You've memorised this really well. I always read my Sportfish catalogue. I used to work here and it was our homework every evening. So from the <laughs> boss, you need to read, and I still do it to this day. Uh, so there you go. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Charles. That is the Freestone Wader and Boot Combo. Excellent modelling there. And next we have Ashton coming back uh, with a waders uh, a, and jacket that we launched last yeah, year. Steve. This is, hi Ashton, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, this is the Guide Classic jacket and Guide Classic wader. First of all, wow, this looks great. Anything would look good on Ashton, I would say, but oh, this is like a, a lovely wading jacket. Um, it's Gore-Tex Pro Shell. It's got loads of features, all the features you would expect from a Sims wading jacket. Just gonna, for starters, just look at the cuffs. You pull the cuff back here. Awesome. Got the Sims dry cuff in here. This is a key feature for any, any wading jacket. Number one, it's Gore-Tex. It's gonna breathe, it's gonna keep you dry in anything. When you tighten these cuffs up, if you're releasing a fish or you put your hand under the water or even casting in the rain, water will not run up your arm. You don't want a wet arm when you're fishing. Um, really good feature. Again, you've got the three-way adjustable hood. Everything's nicely hidden away with drawstrings. So you set the hood and the hood moves with your head as you move. Really good. Could you, would you mind just popping the hood up there just to show the coverage? 
there we go it's got a nice little peak on it there you know and when you move your head uh, the hood the hood sort of moves with you it's very comfortable so you don't really know your hood is up even though it is up and it's keeping the rear off you. Um, great pockets nice hand warmer pockets large bellows pockets here for perhaps your larger fly boxes whatever you need um, there's also a little retractor hidden away somewhere probably in in the pocket here like so you can have that coming out of there if you want or you can have it in your pocket like so um, really nice wading jacket um, so I think a small yeah we've got the d-ring d-ring at the back for your net there that's nicely hidden away there nice wading jacket really nice color as well so yeah if you wouldn't mind just removing the jacket we'll get a a little bit more detail on the waders. Awesome. So these are our entry level Gore-Tex waders. All the Sims Gore-Tex waders are made in the Sims factory in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, these waders are no exception. Gore-Tex, very important, so you're getting the best performance and high levels of durability. These are a three layered construction, but along the front of the wader here, uh, you have a reinforcement panel going up and down the leg. So that's the area at the front that is likely to get more pinholes than other areas, so it's reinforced. Then we've got some more breathable material, more breathable material as we go up through the leg. Built-in gravel guards down here, nice neoprene ones. These are the G3 guide uh, boot in felt that we have. These have been out a few years now, but they, uh, they match these waders really well. Very comfortable boot, highly durable boot. I don't know if we could just look at the heel at the back there. Uh, really good ankle support here. Uh, very, very important and a real good, I call this the puller on her. I think that's the technical term to get them on and off. It can be sometimes a little bit difficult after a hard day's fishing, getting these on and off. It definitely but it makes life a bit easier. Yeah, do they feel comfortable, Ashton? I mean, that's, 100%. that's what this is all about. The whole yeah. thing about the Sims, Sims uh, uh, waders, boots or whatever, you concentrate on your fishing because you feel comfortable. You're not wet, you're not cold, it's all about, it doesn't matter what the elements are doing, you just put your hood up and keep fishing. You can concentrate on catching the fish. Um, but moving up through the wader, obviously they come with the wading belt. Uh, there's a belt loop here at the back, like so, nice and simple. Up through into the, the pocket, we've got the usual hand warmer pockets there, zippered pocket at the front. Nice little sort of digital camo detailing here at the front, which looks really nice. And inside we have, it comes with a nice little pocket there to put those must-have accessories in there. Oh, very so. handy for a few tippets, some leader. Exactly. Maybe All the little essentials yeah. you can have there, so you don't really need to carry a bag. Uh, and the usual, again, the male and female buckles that will strap around the front. Mm -hmm. And that is the Guide Classic Wader yeah. and jacket Solid and the G3 kit. Guide boots. They feel good. Yeah. They're a great fit on you, actually. Yeah, perfect really, really size. Nice. I think that's quite important, sizing, getting it all right. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, there we go. Thank you, Ashton, for yeah. those. No problem Thank at you. all. Next, we have a very special combination. Uh, we've actually got JT modeling these. Now, interestingly, JT, we do know he does have aspirations for <laughs> modeling in general. In fact, I have heard a couple of the top Italian fashion houses are watching this today just to see if there's possibilities for him in the future. So it's an honor to have him in some Sims waders. Jonathan, please. Here he is. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Uh, Jonathan is modeling uh, the flyweight system. I'm going to call this a system because it all adds together. There's an awful lot going on here. We launched these waders last year. Uh, the first of all, Jonathan is modeling the flyweight jacket. Very nice, lightweight, breathable Gore-Tex jacket. Like so. It's all to do with the whole system here. This is for the angler who's on the move, who is roving up and down the riverbank or maybe going from lock to lock up in Scotland. He's on the move and he wants all his equipment with him where he needs it, when he needs it. That's the whole system. Uh, everything is its a Gore-Tex wader, Gore-Tex jacket. It's lightweight, it's packable and it's for the gangler that's, that's, that's moving around and, and doing some miles during the day. Uh, so you can remove the jacket, thanks Jonathan. The jacket packs down, it's fully waterproof, fully windproof jacket. Wow. That will go in your backpack. Nothing. Extremely lightweight, <clears throat> but that will keep you dry. Now you'll see the flyweight wader. There's a lot going on with the wader, and again, I think it's best if I start uh, down at the boots. So we have the brand new flyweight access boot 
in fact these are so brand new they're not even in the shops yet so these are coming late spring summer 2022 uh, it's a lightweight boot it's got a different rubber sole here that's it if we can have a wee look at the sole it's a vibram based sole it's very sticky it's very it's it's flexible it's nice it feels like it'll be very comfortable how do they feel Jonathan? They're, they're they're comfy incredibly light, lightweight yeah and very very comfortable ordinarily you tend to find with a lightweight boot you don't have a lot of comfort because there's not a lot of padding mm. These are very comfortable. I could see myself happily walking mm. several miles in a day. Yeah. You get a bit of cushion, mm -hmm. nice bit of flex in them. They're Good. not stiff. Really so like them. Exactly right. If you're doing a few miles in the day, this is, this is a great option um, for the boot. Uh, just in the rubber uh, version uh, at the moment. But yeah, I think they look great. They match well and they look extremely comfortable. Moving up through, the first difference you'll get with this, the flyweight wader is we've got a new different gravel guard, uh, an air mesh gravel guard. It's actually perforated. And the idea of this is, again, it fits in with this being on the move. So when you come out of the water, this will shed the gravel guard neoprene. It will soak up a bit of water, but this will shed it really quickly. I don't know if you can see the sort of almost a honeycomb. It's a honeycomb. It's, it's it? probably hard to pick it out there, but it's a, a lighter weight with a lot more sort of a mesh in there to shed the water really, really quickly. Um, coming up through the, the, the wader, four layer in the bottom, the front leg seams and articulated legs. Um, this is the area that will get the, the, the perhaps the uh, abrasion and the punctures, so it's a little bit more reinforced here. And then we come up through into a three layer, super breathable uh, three layer coming up through to the belt. Uh, then, a very important feature, a new feature that I think is great, the side zips on the wader. Jonathan, yeah, perfect. So let's say you need to layer up. You're going to put in a, a layering piece in there. You can give yourself an extra couple of inches up the side, or perhaps you've just had that extra sandwich at lunchtime uh, and you need to uh, have a little bit more of a comfort setting. So it's like a comfort setting or a streamlined setting uh, on the wader, which I think is a great feature. It adds a little bit of comfort, particularly with adding maybe bulky items of layering. Then you'll notice here at the front, this system here, this is the hex grid system. It looks like a bit of a cargo pocket, but it's not. It's a lot more than that. This is actually an attachment system. And in the flyweight range, you'll see it in your Sportfish catalog, some of the, some of the items there. This is an attachment system of, of, to put accessories onto the wader. I'll show you what I mean. I've brought one up from the shop. That's what I was just looking for downstairs. <laughs> oh, right, which we've got it up here. So this is the flyweight large pod. So this is a, it's a sort of a weave system, but the advantage you get with this, if you wanted to attach it like so there, so you've got a, a chest pack attached. Once you attach this properly, it doesn't move. It feels like a permanent attachment, but you can take it on and off as you like. And there's a various range. There's belts and different items of luggage that all go in the flyweight range. Bottle holder. Bottle holder, net holder to go on the Wait, belt. Waiting belt. Exactly, and, and the belt. But that's what that hex grid system is, is, is for. It's a really nice feature and it's a system you, you can, you know, bespoke to yourself you can put what you want it's about having your gear where you want it when you need it great if you don't want to carry a bag or you don't want to use a waistcoat exactly. you can just absolutely yeah um other obviously the other features we have with the uh, with the wader there's uh, the pocket inside there if you can flip that out will that come out yeah zip pocket there like so quite a, quite a deep one, one. yeah Plenty of space in there. Yeah. And again. Yeah, you can flip these down if you want to on a warm day. So yeah, for me, these are for the roving angler that get, does a few miles during the day, really that cool. likes all his accessories just in the right pl place. And like I say, it's all about the comfort. Really, really light, feel very comfortable. Yeah. Love the yeah. boots. Yeah. Quite happy to go and spend the whole day roving around in these. Superb. Um, I love the hex idea. Yeah. You can interact with the different things. Yeah. Um, you know, you can, if you want a back saver belt, which I love a back saver belt, mm -hmm. you've got the ability to put the water bottles on and everything else. Yeah. Great system. Yeah. Really clever. And you can just uh, customise it to however you want. Yeah. Superb. Jonathan, thank you very much. No that was excellent. And next, we have Charles coming back. He'll be here just in a second. Bit of a quick change in the background. Charles will actually be modelling. This is 
for me, I describe this range as the core of the Sims range. Uh, in many ways, our most important outfit here. Here he is. Please come in, Charles. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Charles is modeling the G3 Guide winner. The brand new G3 Guide jacket and the new Guide Boa boot. Um, so we're going to start with the jacket. And I have to say, this jacket isn't in the shops yet. It's coming late spring, summer 2022. So a little bit of a sneak preview. It's a jacket packed with features. It's Gore-Tex. It's got pockets everywhere. We've got a lovely little new style retractor there that you can change from one side to the other. Great pockets. We've got nice hand warmer pockets at the side, water resistant zips. It's very light. Too. Yeah. yeah. Really, really light. Mm -hmm. it's not... I like the colour too. I know it's a stupid thing, but... Really? It's important to get to get it looking good. I feel get coordinated, the right darling. You are very coordinated, Charles. Yeah. It looks looks really good on you. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I like yeah, this. nice pockets at the side. And again, would you mind just lifting up the cuff? We've got the double cuff, the dry cuff. Th this is really important, Steve, because yeah. I'm, like so many other people, fed up with line going around here. Yes, yeah. I and mean, if you're still water fishing and all the rest of it, yeah. you know, that line... There's nothing more frustrating than going for that shoot and yeah. well, getting wraparounds <coughs> on your Velcro, on your sleeve, on your fishing jacket. Yeah. So these, the, the Velcro, it's really good quality Velcro. When, it, when that is tight, water won't run up your sleeve, but it's hidden away up inside the cuff. That's great. It's neat I and like it's that. tidy. We've got the Sims three-way adjustable hood, which is fantastic. And if it's you're a running, great jacket. So you won't get run over. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> Absolutely. That shows up in the, in the dark, in the light, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great jacket. I, I can see this being our, our really number one selling uh, yeah. wearing jacket. Absolutely. Um, the other thing too, adjust here. Absolutely. They've all got so a drawstring on them nice and easy to adjust if you're going in very deep that doesn't matter if this gets wet that's not a problem but if you're going in deep you might want to hitch that up if yeah. you're in the river so like Charles is doing now that's excellent yeah superb thank you now if you wouldn't mind removing the jacket or we'll taking it off even taking it off <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for you to say yeah we will have a deeper dive into the brand new g3 guide as river. i so often do in rivers <laughs> ba -ba can't get the sleeves off now. No, Charles, I think you're going to show us your waders later on at, yeah. at, at the end here, but they are a G3 guide that, waders. That's showing you how good that seal is. Yeah. I, couldn't, I just couldn't... No, that's right. Yeah, you've got to undo it. Yeah. There we go. So here we have the G3 guide wearer, and again, I keep saying it, this is the core wearer of the range. When it comes down to performance and durability, this is the best wearer. Uh, this is the new styling. The main story about this is a brand new fabrication package. So Sims work very closely with Gore-Tex to come up with new fabrics, new face fabrics, uh, to, be the, to be more durable and more breathable, which is the and performance the, the other thing too, you've got a lovely lot of run. I mean, that's, yep. that's something that I think yep. is crucial. Absolutely. Fit is so important uh, with a wader. You don't want too much access baggy stuff. They need to fit because then it can wear while you're walking. You don't want it to act like a flappy seal when you're in the, in river, the river. So you need that's to get... That's a vital thing. Absolutely. Get, in this yeah. wader, we do 25 different stock sizes. And on top of that, we can do custom feet as well. So the fit is really really important so we have the new fabrication here four layer going into the three layer I'm going to start at the bottom because we've got a, a new gravel guard here then I'll talk about the boots and we'll, we'll, we'll go up in fact I'll leave the boots till we've done the wader okay. uh, we've got a new gravel guard that doesn't require the little metal clip Can you see that? so this will just <laughs> yeah this will just stay in place the way it is um, we come up through a the new four layer here. Now the four layer extends. This is extra abrasion resistant and puncture resistant. This extends up over the seat area. Charles, if you wouldn't mind just turning around. So your four layer goes all the way up over there. There, extra reinforcement. And then if you spin round again, please, Charles. Excellent stuff. You'll see the color change here. We're going into the super breathable three layer, just where you need it, more in the upper torso, like so. Again, we've got the front leg seams, very important there also. Uh, nice quality belt, um, as you can see, belt loops on the back. We'll have a quick look at the back if we may. Lovely little Sims G3 pop here. Now this is a nice feature. One belt loop perhaps isn't the right position for everybody, so we've got two belt loops. 
higher and lower, just so as you get your well, belt. Can I pick the right one? <laughs> I do. Well, it's the right one for you. You can yeah. go up or down, okay. depending on whatever you want. So you've got the choice there. It's all about the comfort. Uh, back round to the front again, please, Charles. That's superb. But I think it's worth pointing out, Steve, mm. that, that these don't just happen. You know, they go into an awful lot of Absolutely. technological, yep. you know, makeup, but also then out on the stream guiding. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's yeah. hours and hours of testing. These get sent all over the world for testing with professionals and guides. Um, the product development part of Sims is, is, is huge. They've been developing these for, for a long time. It never ceases to amaze me. I normally go twice a year when we don't have pandemics uh, and it's a great factory to visit. It's very modern. Every time I go, it's got a little bit bigger uh, and new staff and uh, it's, it's, it's great to visit, great to see. Um, but just to finish off, for the waiter up on top we've got zippered hand warmer pockets at either side there we've got the flip out tippet tender pocket here you can have your retractor there your tippet here and that's a nice touch it's nice yeah like just that. keeps it in place you can remove that and you if you wanted to and add in one of the waterproof tippet tenders if you wanted to um, and we've got a nice stretchy front pocket with a velcro patch there for your flies or any accessories you want to put on there um, but it's a lovely waiter it's usually our best selling Gore-Tex waiter all built from start to finish at the Sims factory in Bozeman Montana um, it's a great waiter and like I say we do 25 different sizes in this in your Sportfish catalogue you'll see a size chart and you can work out your sizes uh, we're going to see some of the ladies waiters earlier which are a little bit more complicated with sizing but the men's is largest girth Inside As they should be, feet. frankly. Exactly, absolutely. Um, so there we go, that is the G3 this guide is the waiter. Bit. This is the one, this is going to divide the room, isn't it? Well, yes, probably. Now, here's a new boot. Uh, in fact, these are not in the shops yet. These are coming soon, late spring, early summer, uh, 2022. Well, you won't see these in the shop because I should be taking these home. You won't, no. I won't, no. <laughs> Not this time, maybe next time. No. Yeah. Are they your size? Yes. Okay. Right. Well, we'll maybe sort something out. Um, so these come in either rubber or a vibram, uh, rubber, vibram, or felt. These are the rubber vibram. Can we yes, just have a wee look? Right. Yeah, that's it. Perfect, Charles. And you'll see the areas for the uh, star cleats or studs, uh, studding points there in, in the boots. And we'll come back round. We'll look and at get those. someone to advise you on the right pattern. Indeed, indeed. We do the Don't Illumi just bites. slam them in there with a you know whatever <laughs> yeah absolutely so here's the boa system now you know uh, easy on easy off that's what it's all about the boa system's commonly used in ski boots snowboarding boots uh, certain hiking boots, I think, even some cycling shoes, I think. Yeah. So it's a great system. You have this the metal lace coming up through the system. If you want to tighten that up, just push it in it. and tighten it up and it just tightens for you. No wet laces to worry about. At the end of a hard day's fishing with cold, wet hands, it's... That's enough. <laughs> don't to, I was going to say, you don't want to over tighten oh. these, right? I don't want to cut off your circulation. But the, I mean, somebody who's not used to this will say, well, what happens if they break? Yeah. Well, they, they, in my experience, the lace will always go before the boot wears out. Right. And it's all part of the system. Boa themselves guarantee the laces for life. And you can buy spares fairly inexpensively. So in the lifetime of the boot, like any lace, this will go. If you keep these areas, the little eyelets, really clean and don't over tighten, they'll last a long time. Yeah. You know, if you let sand fray them and don't really clean them and over tighten them, they might not last that long. But it's all part of it. The lace will always go before the boot wears out, in my experience. So when you want to take them off, simple. They just loosen up very simple and easily. And to tighten them, put them in and tighten them up. It's a great system, very, very popular. A lot of anglers that, that use the boas, they stay with the boas. Yeah. They never go back to laces, absolutely. There we go. So thank you. thank you very much, Charles. That is the G3 outfit. And next we're at the top of the range with the G4s, absolutely. Here's Jonathan back. Loving it, Jonathan, looking excellent. <laughs> now you got my favorite wearing jacket, G4 Pro jacket absolutely stunning jacket this jacket is a little bit longer than a lot of the other wearing jackets it's great to wear even when you don't have your waders on it just fits the bill it's got a, uh, a drawstring there great big huge pockets here like so um, pockets actually reach right round the back 
inside the pockets you've even got a sunglasses cleaning chamois which is a nice handy uh, handy feature there and in the other pocket you've got some little pockets inside the pocket we also have a little bit of a, a what I call the tool tab here at the side, a Velcro piece. You can put in one of the classic Sims retractor. You've got some Velcro to add accessories there as well. We have the double cuff, the dry cuff, all hidden away nicely. Same cuff as the jacket Charles was wearing. Tighten that up and you won't get water going up your arm. That's it. And it's all hidden away. You don't get your line getting caught around there. Uh, really good quality zips, a lovely high collar, keeps the wind out, keeps the rain out. This will keep you dry and warm for many years. Really good hood, just the best, in my opinion, the best jacket on the market. You've also got a handy little pocket on the arm there with a water resistant zip. Great jacket. And on the hood there's the nice orange flash just in case you want to be seen at the distance with the G4 logo on there as well looks absolutely okay, terrific yeah and there's your so drawstrings yeah normally wear a baseball cap in there would you jonathan yeah yeah, I, yeah for comfort it's, it is a good idea but yeah um but that's superb now if you remove the jacket we'll get a closer look at the g4 zeds so we do two waders in the g4 we do the g4 pro and the g4z these are obviously the g4z the z is for the zip we have the fully 100 percent waterproof zip uh here very comfortable. A lot of uh, a lot of customers tell me once they go to the zip, they never go back. That's exactly what we said this morning. That's exactly yeah. Super comfy for all sorts of reasons. Easy on, easy off. Uh, just a, a you know a great feature to have on the waiter. With all pockets and accessories, the G4 Pros obviously have the full pocket across the top. Uh, the Z4Zs uh, have it split because of the zip. Obviously, we also have a little feature of the shark fin buckle here. This is to hang your forceps on. Your forceps will clip there and just hang down there. Keeps them in a handy position. Nice little feature. Nice little Velcro uh, patch there as well for accessories or your flies. Uh, super durable wader, this one. Uh, great fabrication package. Super durable. Uh, four layer down the bottom here. Obviously built in gravel guards. Four layer goes up over the seat area again. Then you're into the more breathable, there we are, four layer as you can see comes up here, more breathable three layer at the top where you need it. Uh, we do these in lots of sizes again, it's a super comfy wearer, do they feel comfortable? They are they? very comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of, despite the fact obviously the material's thicker and more durable, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, that's that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, if you fish a lot, you're going to really in, in, enjoy wearing these waders. If you're fishing a lot, G3 Guide or G4 really is where, where you'll get the value out of them. And we have the G4 Pro Boot as well. These are the are these the Vibram the rubber? They are indeed. There we go. Now, can you just angle? Yeah, you'll see here slightly different. We actually have drilled stud ports already done in these where you screw uh, your studs or your cleats into pre-drilled holes that are threaded there's little uh, plugs in there to stop anything getting stuck in them at the moment but you unscrew those for better stud and cleat retention is a great feature they're a super durable boot you've got great ankle support there's a lot going on with these boots. They move where they should move. I know the Sims feet design, boot designers, they start with the human foot and how it bends and how it moves. Uh, there's a lot of the design goes in. A lot goes into what's inside the sole here for comfort and stud and cleat retention as well, combined with very good ankle support and you know great durability, but yet yeah, they're not heavy. No, nice, not at all. Comfortable to wear. Yeah, they look really good. So there, there we go. That is the G4Z. Thank you, Jonathan. Excellent stuff. Now, we've saved the best to last. Uh, I often get asked about our ladies' ranges, ladies' waders. Uh, definitely ladies, uh, lady anglers are on the increase, and I'm very pleased to say we've got Karen to show us the ladies' waders today. Come on in, Karen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> now, Karen is looking absolutely terrific today, if, I, if you <laughs> don't you. mind me saying so, in the ladies' uh, guide jackets. Superb, we've got the ladies freestone wearers and ladies freestone boots. Now obviously with the ladies uh, ranges, it's cut more to the female form, uh, it, it just fits better. We do a good range of sizes as well. Ladies jacket, as you would expect, it's got the dry cuffs mm -hmm. still, the three-way adjustable hood, all the features that the Sims wearing jackets have, great pockets, 
Uh, I think it's a really nice colour as well. Um, the length's good. Yeah, too. and it's a good nice. length. Yep. And does it feel comfortable? Very. That's yep. the main thing. Yep. Excellent. It's good. Yeah, nice. We can remove the jacket. It's a Gore-Tex jacket, of course, 100% waterproof and breathable. And now we have the Sims Women's Freestone Stocking Foot Wearers. Uh, yeah, they look a really good fit. Fit is so important. The ladies' fit is a little bit more comp complicated. There's a few more measurements. You'll see that in the Sportfish catalog with the size chart. But these are a really good fit. All the features of, uh, of the men's wearers the same, but just cut slightly differently. We have the built-in gravel guards, the front leg seams. Uh, the more breathable in the torso, the pockets with the micro fleece, uh, the hand warmer pockets and a water resistant zip on the front pocket. And of course we've got the free stone boots to match. And how do the weirdest feel Karen? Are they yeah, comfy? comfy? They're nice, they're a great fit on you. Yep. They look good, you'd be comfortable fishing in those. Mm -hmm. Superb. Well, there we go. Well, thank you very much, Karen. So that's our ladies freestone wader uh, for details in your Sportfish catalog. Thank you. Thank you. And just to finish off, one of the things I do like to say about the, the Sims wader, yes, they're very expensive. Uh, some of them are very expensive, but they're very durable. Uh, just to illustrate that, we're chatting with Charles this morning and he wants to show you his G3 guide waders. Here he comes. Come on in, Charles. Now, Charles wears these, and I've had a go at him already this morning for walking around well, in his been, socks. You've already replaced the feet, yeah, actually. Which is part of the service. You can get your feet re re replaced. Well, not the feet. Not my feet. Not your... But the, the, but the, yeah. yeah, obviously, the feet of the wearer. <laughs> obviously. Uh, Charles, tell us all about these. How long have you had these? I've had... This is the entering the seventh season, wow. Steve. So, okay. I just wanted to make the point that if you get a good pair and you look after them reasonably well, and I'm mm. tough on waders. I mean, you've seen me. I know. I mean, I slide down banks and I'm... I know. You know, I treat yeah. them as a part of my fishing equipment. Yep. And mm -hmm. that's how they should be treated. Yeah. They're not some sort of fashion icon item and, you know, you want to look iconic in it, although Karen looks incredibly... She does. ...a lot yeah. better than, you know... Anybody. ...we do, really. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, this is what happens to them. They get yep. used. And if you look after them... Yeah, I, I, for you know, just I would say for seven years for knowing you and what you do in your wearers and how often you wear them, I think these are wearing incredibly well. They're still looking pretty good yeah, there. But I um, wash them too. Yeah, that's important. Wash your wearers. Use a breathable uh, wash. Uh, wash your wearers regularly, at least once a season. You can retreat them with Revive X, yeah. and all part of the Sim system. We have a dedicated repair centre in Oslo. You just return your wearers to your de your dealer. You just bring them back to Sportfish Reading we collect them any repairs we we can do for you so thanks charles thanks okay. for that that's interesting well thank, thank you. you thank you and uh, yeah so that was a bit of a run through uh, of a lot of waders we've looked at many different types of waders i hope that's shown you the the extent of the range and there's a waiter for everybody there so i'd just like to say thank you for watching <laughs>